Medical laboratory experts have urged Africans to ensure they get medical tests done by qualified and trained personnel so as to prevent wrong diagnosis, which most often leads to severe health consequences and even death in certain instances. This was the thrust of discussion at this year's five-day laboratory mentorship and coaching training workshop for medical laboratory professionals organized by the West African Health Organization. The accreditation helps people to uh, ensure that they are producing reliable results. So di diagnosis is obviously the first goal for public health laboratories, but we are also trying to involve research laboratories uh, in this view. So uh, the ISO 15189 accreditation, which is the, the backbone of our project, is uh, definitely the first goal of this. And it's a very long process, very difficult, uh, very demanding to our lab people. So the first goal of this is to ensure that we are producing reliable results. So we've worked on that for a few years now. And as uh, mentioned, we've already trained dozens of people on these specific thematics uh, during that period of time. Yeah. Uh, with this training, a lot of things have been, been taught to us, especially in terms of um, um, standard operating procedures, the new ones, and what we should do, what is really the challenging, in fact, in producing the, um, the improvements plan based on the non-conformities that we are having in our laboratories. Through the course of this training, we have tried to identify some of the gaps because we have issues with human capacity development. We also have issues with, um, with uh, equipment. But West Africa Health, Health Organization is now trying to bridge that gap, trying to develop our capacity as laboratory scientists. Also, uh, not only to develop our capacity, but also to make available some of the equipment that we do not have, uh, that can actually um, help us in, make, in making a rapid diagnosis and having reliable and reproducible results. While presenting certificates of attendance to participants, Commissioner for Health in Lagos State, Professor Akin Abayomi, explained that more attention should be given to medical laboratories in Nigeria and Africa as a whole. One of the fundamental principles of medicine is correct diagnosis. Uh, a doctor or a healthcare provider is dependent on the diagnostic capabilities of his environment to make the correct diagnosis and based on the correct diagnosis to give the correct treatment. When we treat without laboratory backup, we're sometimes mostly guessing at what we're dealing with. And when you're guessing, you can give the wrong treatment or what we practice generally in third world countries is to give uh, a whole bunch of treatments and hoping that one of them will work. But if you have good laboratory uh, infrastructure, then you are able to take your time to make a very accurate and precise diagnosis. And once you know your diagnosis, then you can give the precise treatment. Sometimes a treatment is not required, you know, uh, but if it is required at least, then you know exactly what you're dealing with and you give the right treatment. Also, when you're treating a patient, you need to be able to monitor your progress. So it's not, you can't just leave it to wishful thinking. You have to have some parameters that you can use to make sure that the treatment you're giving is, is doing the right thing. And if it's not doing the right thing, then you have to go back and revise what you think is going on. So these are all the attributes of laboratory supported patient care. Now what we've done here over the past few days is to ensure that we promote the use of laboratories we um, ensure that the results that are coming out of laboratories are accurate in what we call quality management. And for us to do that, we need to go through a process of accreditation. So there are standards that laboratories must utilize. The West African Health Organization is the regional agency charged with the responsibility of safeguarding the health of the people in the sub-region through the initiation and harmonization of the policies of member states, pooling of resources and cooperation with one another and with others for a collective and strategic combat against the health problems of the sub-region.